Hello everybody, my name is Eugene Kappen, this is Kappen Design TV, welcome to my YouTube channel. Uh, once a week, I do this thing called Evening Coffee, where I stream a VR project that I'm working on. And each project is calculated to a season, and I tend to get anywhere between about 30 to 60 of you on the lower number, up to like 300 of you guys per sitting. And one of the biggest requests that I always seem to get is, hey, I'm new to streaming. I like the way you have yours set up. Um, how do you do the layout? And you know, can you teach me? And that's kind of an odd request considering we are mainly a VR and design oriented channel uh, for stuff that's more like higher end. But I've had so many of you guys request it to me that I'm like, okay, fine, I'll make a video, we'll put it out. And if you guys have any more questions, you know, leave a comment down in the description. So, um, the setup that you're seeing right now is basically what I use for all my streaming, where you have the video in the corner where you can see my face, the screen of my laptop so you can see what I'm doing, and then my social media stuff down at the bottom. And something to note is my style is going to be very different than yours. I mean, you might be streaming horror games, so you might have something that looks like the layout from Diablo uh, versus you might have, you know, a beauty um, anime channel. So your layout might be something very kawaii looking or very cute. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you the nuts and bolts of my layout, how to produce those things, but it's really going to be up to you to decide what does your personal style and branding look like? Uh, do you have a logo? Um, what are the social media links that you're specifically trying to get people over to? Like, where are you trying to guide them? Are you trying to get them to Snapchat? Are you streaming to Periscope so you're trying to get everybody on your YouTube? or maybe you're on YouTube, but you really want to build up a gaming channel on Twitch. So you need to include those social media links as well. You, it is going to require you to have a couple of programs. Um, one is going to be Photoshop and two is going to be Illustrator. Uh, now you can do probably do without one or the other, but you're probably not going to be able to do both. And so, I'm going to stick primarily with Photoshop. Now, the average person streaming is going to be using a 1920 width by 1080 72 resolution RGB. Uh, RGB is required for web-based and video production. Uh, if you're using bitmaps, grayscale, CMYK, or lab colors, that is wrong. You also want it to be set to pixels per inch and you want your landscape format, not orientation, landscape. Okay, uh, so we're just gonna go ahead and hit create. And this is your working area. Now, what we can do right away is we can grab the background and we can make it its own layer just by clicking on it twice and it'll open it up. And we can grab a green you have to have the layer selected. And we can go ahead and do two things. We can double it up and we can call this um, desktop stream. And we can call the top one video stream. And these are going to be very different sizes. So I can also right click them, hit convert to smart object which I'm gonna do for both. And I'm going to turn off the video stream and we're just gonna focus on the desktop stream for a minute. So I can hit Control T and that will make it uh, transformable. Now I can grab the corner and select Shift or hold it down at the same time and I can scale it proportionally. So if I lift it up, it's all over the place, but if I'm holding shift down, it scales proportionally. And we want a nice 
area for a sidebar. And we are going to want an area for our social media links. Perfect. Cool. And just to, uh, I, I hate the, the missing area background. So what I like to do is I like to just fill it in right away. Cool. Uh, so we're already coming together. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, create some social media links. And from here, what I've gone ahead and done is I have created a sol a free social media downlink page, a social media page, and this is just a PDF that you can download and then open it up inside of Illustrator. Now I have my social media links all ready to go and I have my Twitter, uh, say I want to get people over to my Twitch and say I want to get people over to my Instagram and maybe maybe Tumblr. Okay, cool. So I'm going to grab each one individually and I'm going to bring it over to my page. And I'm going to turn this off for a second. And what I'm doing right now is I'm bringing over the icons I want illustrated in my layout. So let's go ahead and grab Instagram. Perfect, perfect. And let's grab Tumblr. And I like to rename these just so I can keep track of them. So Twitter icon, Twitch icon, Instagram icon, and then Tumblr icon. And these can be whatever social networks you, you want to use. And I'm going to go ahead and grab all of them except for the Twitter icon. And we're just going to focus on the Twitter icon for a minute. So um, what we need to do is produce a bar where our text is going to go. And I like to make my, my bar the same width and height as my icon. And what we can do is we can make it white or we can grab this green that was there earlier. And maybe we can grab this Twitter icon, we can right click it and we can add a inner stroke. Uh, inner and we can make it the same green cool and you know we need we need some text so I'm gonna do the at symbol and I'm gonna do my layout and I'm gonna make it a you know I don't like that font Let's try to find like uh, a gamer font, something that is a good representation of. All right, cool. I, d I just want something cooler than the standard Marian font. And I need to make sure that this is centered properly. Cool. Now what I can do is I can put all of this into a folder and I'm going to call this Twitch or I'm going to call this Twitter bar, Twitter bar. Um, and I can duplicate this again and I can just move it over. And I can grab the Twitch icon and I can 
bring it in and I can go ahead and just replace it. Oh, I'm gonna wanna go ahead and grab the, uh, the, the layer style. And I'm gonna wanna apply it really quickly to all of my other icons. Paste. Cool. Let's call this Twitch, Twitch bar. And I'm gonna duplicate it again and call this Instagram bar. And bring the Instagram icon in there. And it looks like we are going to run out of room, which isn't great. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab everything. And I'm just going to scale it down a little bit. Perfect. And we're going to grab the Instagram bar and we're going to duplicate it again. And we don't have to be super specific about the placement in relation to each other right away. That is what we have alignment tools for. So I can grab all four bars. I can go up to the alignment tools and we can align from the center. Perfect. Now if we bring back that layout again, they look super cool. Now, I don't like the solid black, and that's okay. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I grabbed a random image off of Pexels. And I'm just gonna size it up. And put it in the background. And now I can just go ahead and Blur it. I can turn on Gaussian Blur. And it'll just do a lot of the work for me. And now I have this nice, cool uh, gradient, almost, if you will. Um, I'm not a big fan of just the straight gradient here. So what I can do is I can grab some other elements from when I was working on building my, my personal style. And I can just start placing them around. And maybe we'll uh, change the opacity down a little bit, make it super faint. Cool. Um, you know, I'm not liking the uh, the size of this. I kind of want to keep equal sides or equals equal angles on both sides. And I'm gonna go ahead and duplicate it. just a little bit like that. And what this is going to be is it's basically going to be our, uh, our chat window. Smart objects. Um, you know what? I want to put a subscribe button right here. So I'm going to go ahead and hit, uh, oh, we didn't name this Tumblr bar and what I can do is I can duplicate this and I can just move it into place kind of 
keep it right between everything. We're gonna make this, we're gonna call this the subscribe bar. And we can get rid of the Tumblr icon. We don't need that. And we're going to make some changes to align everything. And we're just gonna put subscribe. Uh, something I like to do is I like to put a, uh, just like a cover corner over my desktop. And I do this to help give it a dimension of, uh, so it doesn't look it, like it was just placed in. I like to make it look like this thing has layers to it. And maybe I'll go ahead and bring it out of the bar and call it corner. And maybe I'll duplicate it and, you know, hit, go ahead and transform it. And so it's just ever so slightly over my menu or my, uh, my navigation down here. Okay, cool. And you know what? Let's, let's keep doing this like corner thing for a second. And we're going to go ahead and give the, uh, the video box, the video player corners as well. Bottom corner, top corner. Cool. Okay. So let's go ahead and mess with the, the player for a second. Cool. And let's go ahead and delete one section. Yes. And we're going to go ahead and duplicate it, transform it, rotate it, and put it into place. Cool. Now comes the more complicated part where we are now um, giving this a shape. So uh, make sure that our shape path is on and we're gonna get really close in so we can narrow in on that corner pixel. And come down to the corner pixel here and while hitting sh or holding shift down, what we can do is we can make sure that it is moving parallel and or vertical and horizontal and then closing it back up cool and we'll call this new layout and we can remove everything else all right and what we can do now is we can Double click the right side and we can give it a stroke of, you know, whatever size we want. Cool. All right, cool, cool, cool. Okay. This is looking pretty much done. I mean, some other things we can do is uh, we can add other little layout elements that you've pre-created. Uh, I like to do these plus signs. Just for like in the background. And maybe I'll go ahead and shrink them a little bit. and not align them with anything. 
maybe duplicate them and you know put them in some other places and you know once we're we're really getting into uh, the coloration um, with this this whole green layout uh, what we can do is you know let's let's go ahead and save this and we'll call this test layout because I'm not going to use this more for you guys and we'll do put it in a folder test layout and I'll go ahead and make this uh, entire PSD available so um, once we're done here and we have the layout looking exactly how you are going to want it uh, what we can do is save it as a PNG save it and then we can open the PNG not make it a, a background layer and then we can use the magic wand tool select the big sections all right now all you have to do is save this again and then drop this into say OBS, which you're streaming, um, input your desktop, and all you have to do is put it underneath the, the image. So it will all, even if you don't have uh, the absolute perfect uh, placement of your objects, because they are behind this image, uh, they can, they'll look like they fit perfectly. I mean, you can put your video here, you can put your, your chat for your community or ads or whatever else. Uh, and then you can put your desktop or your gameplay footage right in here and you are good to go. So anyway, that's all the time we have for this video. Go ahead and hit the like button if you learned something. If you're going to go ahead and grab the layout or you're going to go ahead and grab the social media icons that I've made available, there are links down below. Go ahead and, you know, just tweet this out. You know, share it with somebody else who might find these resources equally beneficial. Um, also, it helps spread the word about the channel and it helps me out for the, you know, time I put into making this video. And if you've seen more than one of these videos before, go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you have not already done so. We are now in a relationship. Let's make it official. I'm Eugene Kappen. This is Kappen Design TV. I will see you in the next video.